A quick search on our hype evaluation machine, also known as the Google, reveals just shy of 9 million hits, about 64-bit versus 32-bit processors. Uh, no. Some of this hype was started by the PC crowd back when AMD launched their first desktop PC 64-bit CPU back in 2003. But since last fall's launch of the iPhone 5S, the first smartphone with a 64-bit CPU, it's become a hot topic again. But what does it actually mean for average Joe? Let's start with what a bit is very briefly here. One bit is a single character in binary, either one or zero. So it can only express up to two values. With two bits, we can express up to four values. And with three bits, that goes up to eight. Every bit we add increases the number of different values we can represent in binary exponentially. Now, you'll hear about bits in relation to all kinds of computer things, from data storage to data transmission to data processing. So that brings us back to CPUs. In the context of a processor, the number of bits generally refers to the amount of memory it can address. So while a 32-bit processor is, without PAE, magic tricks limited to about four gigs of memory or RAM, a 64-bit processor can handle up to 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> All right, Linus, that sounds interesting. More RAM is good for performance, right? Bring on the bits. Where's my 128-bit? Well, hold on a second there. Cool your rainbows, my pony friend. More RAM is only beneficial if you need it to store data that's applicable to the task your processor is working on at a given time. Adding more RAM to this isn't going to make the ball move faster. So a move to more bits for processors is not something to be undertaken for no reason. Aside from the hardware re-engineering and instruction set architecture extension or redesign, it involves a complete rewrite of fundamental parts of the operating system, be it Windows, OS X, Linux, Android, iOS, or whatever. It requires specific driver software for all hardware components that will be used. And finally, application developers will need to at least recompile and debug their code just to achieve basic compatibility without taking advantage of any performance improvements. Well, okay, Linus, but um, I really want that shiny new 64-bit processor. Maybe the entire hardware and software industries will cooperate for a fast migration for the first time ever so I can have huge performance gains, right? Anyone? I wouldn't hold your breath. Here we are over 10 years after the release of the Athlon 64, and in addition to most of the applications on my 64-bit PC anyway, running in 32-bit mode, Microsoft is still supporting entirely 32-bit versions of even their latest Windows 8.1 OS. And furthermore, if you think a 64-bit processor is faster, then I'm afraid you've bought into the hype, my friends, for certain workloads and nothing you're doing on your phone at the moment, there will be a benefit. But in most cases, what you're actually benefiting from is that a 64-bit CPU will tend to have a newer, more robust design overall, with more registers, functional units, memory bandwidth, and all that other stuff. So until we need more than four gigs of RAM for our phone applications, which who knows, may not actually be that far away. The 64-bitness is just a necessary transition being packaged up for the general consumer as a selling point. Speaking of selling points, Squarespace.com is our sponsor for this episode, and boy do they ever have some real ones. First, the service is reasonably priced. Second, it's easy to use. And third, it's beautiful. Sounds great, right? Can I sign you up right now? Oh, wait. You want to know what it does, right? Right. Squarespace's web-based management tools allow you to quickly create your own amazingly customizable, functional website. They provide a logo maker, templates that will make your site look great on desktop and mobile without any additional hassle, and they even take care of your flexible, scalable hosting solution. So your site, whether it's a blog, online store, or portfolio, will look professional and continue to load fast as your business grows without really any intervention from you. It's awesome. We use it because it works and you should give it a try today at squarespace.com slash Linus. You get a free two-week trial and you can even save 10% with our offer code listed in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment letting me know. If you have any suggestions for future Fast as Possible episodes, share the video if the urge strikes you. You know, more shares, more cares. And thanks again for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>